welcome back to Fireplace Story. I'm Mr. Charlotte and I look forward to sharing this book with you from our home to yours. Today we're going to read Daisy the Dolphin Gets in Trouble, written by Natalie Pritchard and illustrated by Natalie Merhab. This book is all about Daisy the Dolphin and she does get in quite a lot of trouble. Let's read and find out how it's really important to listen a lot of the time and not get into trouble. If you would like a copy of this book, please see a link in the description below. Maybe you already have this book at home. Why don't you go and get it and you can read along with me. Before we get started, shall we see who's joining us for story time today? Let's take a look up to the fireplace and see. Firstly, oh, we have a Cars from Cars the Movie. I know those cars like getting into lots of trouble, so I'm sure they'll love this book. Secondly, oh, it's a mouse from Jellycat Toys. I know he loves listening and he's really excited about this story. Do remember to watch to the end as we've got a fantastic activity that goes along with this book. So let's get started. Daisy the Dolphin Gets in Trouble. Written by Natalie Pritchard and illustrated by Natalie Merherb. Darting beneath the enchanting blue seas, where seagulls were squabbling in a light ocean breeze. Daisy the dolphin was doing her tricks, making some mischief with whistles and clicks. When it was time to swim into her school, Daisy did not want to follow the rule. Throwing big tantrums and raising her voice, Daisy quite often made a bad choice. Oh dear, I don't think the teacher's going to be happy with Daisy. She dived into class so incredibly late, too busy chatting to notice Miss Eight. Daisy, the bell goes at quarter to nine. Hurry, be quick and please get in line. Daisy got angry. Her face went bright red. She shouted and pouted. Just guess what she said. Stop it. I don't like being told what to do. I really am not going to listen to you. <gasps> Can you imagine? Oh, Miss Eight is going to be very unhappy. Miss Eight had a quick, quiet word in her ear. No playtime for Daisy, just let me be clear. Daisy felt sad as her classmates had fun. She felt a bit sorry for what she had done. She knew it was naughty, she knew it was wrong. But could she stay out of trouble for long? Let's see. Next lesson was all about myths and old tales, legends of mermaids as told by the whales. With emerald green scales and long golden hair, spotting a mermaid was a tricky affair. So, pupils embarked on a thrilling school trek, down to the cave by the ancient shipwreck. Miss Eight whispered, shh, please do not make a sound. Mermaids are shy. They don't like to be found. All of the pupils remained calm and still. Keeping so silent took patience and skill. A glimmer of gold soon peeked out of the rocks. Was it a mermaid? with long golden locks. Then Daisy let out an almighty big screech, a screeching so loud it was heard on the beach. Oh no! What has Daisy done? The glimmer was gone just as quick as a flash. All that was left was a ripple, a splash. Hopes of them finding a mermaid that day were dashed thanks to Daisy, 
So what did she say? Quiet is boring and silence is dull, so I let out a screech sound just like a seagull. But when Daisy's friends really started to cry, Daisy felt guilty and sighed a big sigh. She knew it was naughty, she knew it was wrong, but could she stay out of trouble for long? Oh dear, poor Daisy's friend, she really did make them upset. In maths class, the pupils were counting clam pearls. There were plenty for all of the boys and the girls. Counting in twos and then taking away, sharing clam pearls was a great game to play. Daisy instructed, I simply won't share. She snatched all of the pearls and she didn't play fair. Then crack went the clams as they smacked to the floor. The pearls all spilled out and were washed to the shore. Miss Eight cried, oh Daisy, it's such a great shame. But now you're not trusted with playing the game. She knew it was naughty. She knew it was wrong, but could she stay out of trouble for long? Poor Daisy. I know sharing's really hard, but it's really important to share things. Next was a trip to the huge plastic pile. Mountains of rubbish just stretched for miles. Miss Eight wished to make all the pupils aware of mess made by humans who don't really care. This is not good. This is why it's really important to recycle. Big plastic bags, crumbled bottles and waste, spoiling the ocean, discarded in haste. Miss Eight said, stay close and do not touch a thing. Daisy, please move from that old plastic ring. Daisy then chose not to take the advice. She nudged the old ring and she tugged on it twice. Oops, it came loose and then caught on her beak. She pulled and she panicked and she started to shriek. <gasps> then the ginormous pile came tumbling down fast. Down onto Daisy, her friends watched and gasped. Try as you might, Daisy couldn't get free. Listening was crucial, she started to see. Pull! Miss Eight tried to help, but poor Daisy was stuck. Tangled in plastic, she'd run out of luck. Deary me, I wonder if Daisy's gonna get free. That's why it's really important to listen to our teachers and our adults. Time rolled on by. The moon danced on the tide. They couldn't free Daisy. And oh, she cried. Just as they thought that she couldn't be saved, Tom Turtle appeared on the crest of a wave. Tom was an oldie. He knew lots of things. But could he help Daisy escape from the ring? He told Daisy how she should twist her big tail. Do as I say, he said, or you will fail. Do we think Daisy's going to listen to Tom Turtle? I hope she does. Twist to the left, turn once to the right, then wriggle and jiggle with all your strong might. Daisy now listened and did what Tom asked. Oof! It came loose. She was free at long last. She thanked the kind turtle who went on his way. Before he swam off, he had something to say. Life is about all the choices we make. Follow advice. Choose the right path to take. Tom Turtle had some lovely advice there. She knew it was naughty. She knew it was wrong. So she made the right choice 
from that day on. Daisy remembered to stick to the rules, to take a deep breath and then stop, think and choose. The end. What a wonderful book. And it's so important that we follow the rules and listen to our adults. I know sometimes it's really hard because we're doing things that we love, but Daisy showed how important it was, otherwise accidents can happen. We have a wonderful activity to go along with this book. It's really important that we recycle our rubbish as we found out in this book. So we've got an activity in the description below where you can use your recycling to make some wonderful sea creatures. Remember, if you like this book, hit the like button and do subscribe as we have new stories released every week and you'll be the first to hear. From our home to yours, until next time, bye.